The Monkey Thief. The judge read the sentence aloud in an unwavering voice, his fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that covered the surface of his paper. The defense attorney seemed hypnotized by the angry move movements of the judge's lips. The accused mother wrote in capital letters frantically on a slip of paper that she lifted over her head in desperation. The gavel hit, its victim resigned. And so the cold blade inevitably fell onto the innocent's neck. Did we just kill an innocent, uh, tied up statue thingy? Uh, that's one way to get it. Sorry about that, everybody. Sorry. I don't know why OBS crashed, but it did crash at a perfect time, though. Because <laughs> I know more than I got the uh, thing and started reading it. And it was like, you know, what what the hell happened? Did he get attacked? Did he die? All right. Ooh, what's this? Shotgun jumps. Take it. But yeah, I don't know why OBS has been crashing. It seems to be crashing roughly the same time, amount of time that I've been streaming. So it seems like... Like I said, two hours, 40 minutes or so, and then it crashes. Vial of morphine, I'll take that. Camera angle is weird. A hammer with a wooden handle. I'll take it, I guess. I mean, I have a crowbar. What do I need a hammer for? hear something and it sees me it saw me chat easy <laughs> Hey, an arm. Is this the same room with the uh, weird chest freezer thing that she said she wasn't touching any of it? Well, that's not creepy at all. Body is hanging by a makeshift noose. Full of various medicines. Any of them morphine? I'll take some more morphine. Speaking of which, I'm in fine condition. Never mind. Okay, so what's in here now? Intensive care corridor. Okay, I can't do anything, because if I turn off the light, then I can't go any further just yet. Can I open this? I can. What does that do for me, though? Okay, I think it just circles me back. Right? And then I can then reattach this arm like we did with the baby's heart. And that should reattach.
All right, let's go talk to the uh, the father real quick, and maybe So Cool was right, and he needs blood first before we can put on his arm. Because uh, we were just rejected there. <laughs> He's lost an arm. Well, that doesn't. Uh... He's lost an arm. I must find a way to help him. Well, I tried, but uh, he rejected it. to be we just was in the mirror room and then we went this way what was this way oh that's that yeah we didn't we didn't unlock that like it was open all right i guess we go back into the mirror because he doesn't seem to want i can't interact with the blood so we'll try this again uh there's no way that it'll reject the arm twice right I like how it just like rolls forever. So is there like, oh, no, that's left. That's right, that's correct. Left arm, that's the one that's hurt. That is correct. No way I'm looking inside. We're missing something, chat. I don't know what we're missing, but we're missing something. So we can't go any further this direction. Because assuming there's no light source, it puts us in too much dark to do anything. Which is what I thought would happen, but wasn't positive. Did we miss something? Was there another arm we could pick up? Or did we need, like, glue or something? <laughs> Super glue. Nothing else to do here. Music sounds so ominous. But there's no enemies around, chat. Kinda wish there was a little more light, though. That'd be kinda nice. Wonder what the hammer's for. Do I need to go knock the priest unconscious? So that his arm will stay on? <laughs> Please, noise, a noise. I guess we can go back up if we can't figure out the whole priest thing, because maybe there's more to it, and put the scroll on that uh, pedestal thing and see if we can't do something with it. Maybe that'll give us the glue or a nail or whatever whatever it is that we would need to uh, continue. I 
can't go this way. Gotta go back this way. Because that's the only thing I can think of that would make sense is we need something to attach it with to make it, you know, stay. And the only thing that we haven't done that we can potentially do is that monkey puzzle. Now that we've got that scroll tube. Okay, so we need to read this and probably figure out the story. So the monkey thief. So it's monkeys uh, hear no evil, see no evil, and all that happy jazz, and then the headless one, right? So the judge read the sentence aloud, and then the wavering voice, fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that covered the surface of his paper. So... This would be the mouth covered. Okay. So this one's obviously the headless one. This one is the mouth covered. This one is that one. Which one's feeling the bumps on the paper? Which one's reading? Looks like a judge's block. Oh. That was not right. All right, let's reread this now that we kind of have a better idea of what we're doing. Read it, damn it, read it. Okay, the judge read the sentence aloud in an unwavering voice. So is that the mouth covered then? These puzzles are definitely interesting, you know, like they're definitely difficult. That one's definitely this one. This one seems like, oops, we gotta put this back in here to use it. Oh. This one seems like it could be that one. This one's hands over the head. But I don't know what this one is.
I think that's the one I literally just did because I'm a maroon and couldn't remember which one I did. <laughs> Open says me. Judge read the sentence aloud in an unwavering voice, his fingertips sliding rapidly over the small bumps that covered the surface of his paper. All right, let's figure these out backwards. How about that? That one's definitely the headless one. The gavel hit. The accused mother wrote in capital letters frantically on a slip of paper that she lifted over her head in desperation. So that's the... Gotta be the ears ones, right? The hear no evil? Unless them speak no evil. The... You know, over the, over the lips... Maybe it isn't. I just don't know what that one is. The monkey saying is see no, hear no, speak no. I mean, maybe. See no, hear no. Well, then that has nothing to do with the... Unless I'm misunderstanding. I mean, that's... I don't, I don't know. I don't get it. <laughs> but now we have the stapler, so we can go staple his arm back on, chat. I don't want to go this way. Because the first one he was reading, so, oh, because it was Braille over the bumps on his paper. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm dumb. <laughs> I love how clever this game is, even when it makes me feel dumb. You have a set of those monkeys? That's cool. I think I remember you do. I remember seeing them. But now it makes sense as to why it was the way it was. Because he wasn't reading with his eyes or anything. He was reading with his fingers, which is Braille. Which is why it was seen, though, because he's blind. Game's too smart for me, chat. I don't like it. Staple gun isn't powerful enough. I... Power is adjustable. not what I wanted to do. How is it adjustable? What do I do? Okay, there we go. Never mind. That is that, that that's so weird. Now you can't fall off, you piece of poop. That's so weird why the arbitrarily it says it's adjustable like I mean, give me a break. <laughs> I didn't know if it'd work or not. Obviously, it did work, and now we figured out why it worked, or at least I think I figured out why it worked, but it didn't make sense at first. Father, are you okay? Surgery. Carolyn, my child, that thing has stolen my Bible. What thing? Stay there, Father. 
Right now, it's vital that you keep calm. Yes, you're right. I don't know how I'll be able to thank you for taking care of my arm, my child. What are you talking about, Father? It wasn't me. But I saw you. Oh, you are right. I'm getting confused. Now that I think about it, it was Dr. William who treated my arm. Dr. William, the Wildberger twin's father. Is he in the mansion? I had no idea Dr. William had daughters. Where can I find him? He's usually in his office. You'll probably find him there. I'll go find him. He might be able to give me some answers. Wait, take this. I'm sure it'll be more useful to you than to me. Wonder why some of the dialogue just isn't there. Thank you, Father. I'm sure this will be of help. God be with you, child. What'd you give me? A flashlight. Now I don't have to have this on all the time. I can actually have a weapon or something. Holy poop, chat. We did it. Now that we have this, we can go, uh, go back into the mirror world and kill the thing that's in the dark that we can't get past. Also, we can kill the thing that's in the dark that we can't get past. I think it's upstairs. I think. Was that always locked? I thought that was unlocked. Maybe not. Maybe not, chat. We can get close to it. Can we use the crowbar? And not waste any of our good ammo. Almost walked into him to hurt, get hurt. So I thought he was done for. Thought he was done for, chat. Now at least we can be armed the entire time. So that's gonna be nice. Well, nope, we'll just uh, shoot him again. <laughs> there we go. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this equip again. There's a door. Hmm. Okay. I don't really see anything that we can... Door unlocked. Well, this just takes us back here. To the mirror. Did that unlock something in the real world where we can go get the uh, that item that we saw? That weird electric gun thing? I, I wonder. Although, I mean, this is the real, real world too, apparently, I guess. But uh, it's the Silent Hill world. I guess. I don't know. I guess we'll see. If there's any reason for us to have done that. It is unlocked. Okay. Okay. What's this? A homemade stabbing weapon capable of releasing an electrical charge. Electric lance. So... Yeah, 
is this ammo for it then? So they got three charges. Okay. First aid kit. We'll take that for sure. And now we can get to... I can't open that. Okay. Cool. 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 Now I don't know where to go from here, Chip. <laughs> I think we've been everywhere over here. Because we got our, our electric gun thing. The priest should be here. Uh, the only thing that was over here was the monkey puzzle. These rooms were void of anything. Where did uh, Where did the priest say that we needed to be? If we wanted to talk to William Wildberger, his office, right? Where can I find Dr. Will? Second Thank floor, you, east wing. Well, that's where we're going next, Jet. Second floor, east wing. Remember that. Now that I wonder, since we got this light and everything, if any of the enemies are respawned. Kind of feels like they will be. That's operating room. We don't want to go there. Maybe not. Maybe they're not going to be spawned. East wing, second floor. Which would be his office here. But it was locked. We couldn't get into it. Maybe we can get into the bedroom now and go that way around. Uh... I don't like this. Where's the other one at? You gotta be over here. Probably down there then, downstairs. That's fine. Got plenty more ammo where that came from. And if I'm ready for you, I ain't scared. I ain't scared, chat. I ain't scared, you're scared. We only need to be on the second floor anyway. We need to come over this way. So we'll leave the uh, leave the other one down there by himself. He can be all by himself. He can be all by himself. Okay, so that's still the computer room. I don't think... No, that's the that's library. We don't want to go to the library. We want to come back this way. Locked from the other side, okay. Which I figured that was still the case. So this is, we just came out of the meeting room. We need to go this way. We can't go into the bedroom though. Bedroom's locked behind a disc thing. It needs a disc chat. And we can go through here. And we can go out and around to where the vending machine is. And turn left, go up the steps. Go through here. Then that should take us back to where we need to be, question mark. Assuming that's where we actually need to be.
Let's have something a little more powerful here. This is, I think, where we need to be. Yeah, because we couldn't couldn't do anything to this guy before. Because we had no other way to light up the area. But now, in theory, we can go anywhere. I need you equipped. Thank you. So then what's down here? Just the laundry? So I can go straight. Okay. Straight on. That gives me the laundry. All right. Let's see what's in here. I'm not sure if I hear anything or not. I hear laundry going. Maria Wildberger's Diary. 14th November, 1980. Anna and Emma may be identical twins, but their personalities are quite different. Anna is an extrovert, a noisy and attentive girl, while Emma is quiet and distant. Some days ago, and after much effort, I finished making two beautiful dresses for them. It took them a single afternoon to almost completely destroy them. They came back from the forest covered in dirt from head to toe, with twigs and leaves in their hair. The dresses worn and wore, were torn and frayed. That's all, folks. For a brief moment, I almost flew into a fit of rage. But I pursed my lips, and after taking a few deep breaths, I explained through my tears just how much work those dresses took to make. Anna's eyes became misty. And she babbled an apology, her eyes fixed on the floor. She seemed very regretful. On the other hand, Emma stared right at me with a clueless expression. And then, for only a second, a mocking grimace appeared on her face. Her cold eyes froze my heart immediately. Terrified by that expression and not knowing what else to do, I sent them to their rooms. They did not dine that night. Yep, don't feed your kids. We have another light source. I mean, I like my uh, flashlight and all, but uh, kind of nice if we had more of a flashlight. Shut tight. Shut tight. Well, can I break it? Um, button is stuck. Oh, what is this? It smells awful. It looks awful. Like, it feels like I should be able to get something out of there, but I don't know. I don't know how to get it. You would think like a, you know, you crowbar it or something, or at least bust the glass. Pry it out of there. Um, I guess we'll come back to that. Kind of sucks that I turned it off because now I'll forget that it exists and I'll be mad. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, you got me, game. You got me. Nope, no, quit pausing. Unpause, thank you. <laughs> uh, an empty box uh, with a medallion shaped mold. Oh, okay, so this looks like. This looks like the crest 
He wanted something to come out. <laughs> I did. Scared me, though. That was a nice jump scare. I enjoy those. So now we gotta make a mold. Are we Resident Evil 8 now? Uh... I see the disc. I don't like the disc being there, held out by a skeleton. It is not my favorite thing. An old floppy disk. Names are written on the front. Uh, okay, okay, cool. Don't, don't come at me, bro. Leave me alone. Oh, what's this? A high-pressure hydrotherapy device used in the early 20th century to treat mental illness. So what, they drowned you? They put you in like a shower thing. You know, what kind of assholes back in the day thought that that cured anything? <laughs> like, it just seems bad. Door unlocked. So where does that put us? <laughs> Now we have a floppy disk and a mold. So we need to go back to the studio so we can go to the warehouse and program this. And then go upstairs, I guess. So let's see here. We came out, we came out here. Or did we come out here? I think we came out here. So we're not too far from where we need to be. why it wasn't letting me through the door. <laughs> so now we should be able to program this thing. I don't know if it's quicker to go this way or if it's quicker to go down the steps and around. Probably about the same difference either way. Maybe not. Do we know what we need to program this with? What is the new keyword? You arbitrarily have the disk right protected. <laughs> All right, complete. <laughs> we'll write protect it too. I wonder how many people today, you know, how many kids that are playing this game, how many, you know, under 20 something that never likely seen a floppy disk how long that particular thing took them to figure out <laughs> trying to figure out why the save icon was a thing Right protected? What's that mean? Like, I'm sure they knew what the right protection was, and that's not what I wanted to do. But, like, if the disc is right protected, did they even know how to, you know, stop it from being right protected? 
I think this is where I need to go. I forget where we need to go, chat. This is not where we need to go. Other side. Like, I don't even know if iPods have the, uh, not really right protection per se, but uh, they have a switch that stops you from uh, adjusting the volume and stuff. I don't error. Reading just tells me error. Does it need to be unright protected for some reason? I didn't think so, because that didn't make sense, but uh... Okay, so this is what room? This is the bedroom. What do I need to put on the disk? Do I have to actually type something in on the computer? I wonder if I type in the name like uh, William or whatever his name is, Wildberger. That's kind of convoluted. Unless I wasn't supposed to overwrite it at first, and I overwrote it, and now we're screwed. Is that a thing, chat? Anybody know? Because I hope not. Because I don't remember the last time we saved. Keep on saying that we should probably save again, and it's been a while. That's the closet. It needs a password. But I thought that was the whole thing that I did here. Unless I actually got to type something in. Or does it need a specific password? But then what's the specific password? Maybe Miriam? M-Y-R-I-A-M? Like, it's got to just be a name or, you know, something. I suppose it could be some sort of weird, you know, nonsen nonsensical name. But it doesn't have any numbers or anything in it, so... I mean, there's that at least. So I'm wondering if it isn't Miriam, because it fits. So William wouldn't work. Mm -hmm. 
So I guess let's narrow it down to... Oops, wrong way. There's only two names, I think, that fit. This computer says 1998. Hmm. Because if it's something just on this disc, then I have no freaking clue. It's not on the disc. You can... Three... Three plus six minus nine. I did not know you could move that. I always moved him as a kid, but uh, that's something. Yeah, three plus six minus nine. Three plus six minus nine. So... Hold on. Minus nine, so minus L. O. I. S. I tried clicking on that thing at first and for some reason it didn't do anything so I didn't click on it again because I clicked all over the place like when I flipped it over to do the right protect and then when you asked again later that's weird that's pretty cool though that's a that's a really clever puzzle. The three plus six minus nine. That would be why. Well, no, because those words those actually do make names. A couple of them of them on there that doesn't. Obviously, I could be wrong, but they don't look like names. But it's kind of cool how you did that and removed the letters and they're all three names it's weird cool now watch this isn't right <laughs> oh it's right cool can I have that back I don't know why I need it but I'm taking it I might need it again so why Martha I won't uh oh Oh, it didn't have a gun. Didn't have anything in it. We're good though. Why didn't I have you loaded? I really need to save. <laughs> and I really need to have a decent weapon. Equipped instead of uh, the crowbar. I feel like maybe I should go save real quick. What's this? A worn vinyl. Okay. 
wonder if I should go save real quick before I go any further. I think I'm going to. Just in case, chat. I have so many. I have quite a few ribbons. And it's been quite a while since we saved. Uh, let's see. I need to go out this way. And this way. That's the library. That's not the library. This is where I need to go, though. There may not be anything in here that matters. There may not be another battle. But I would much rather... Especially since I have so many ribbons. Much rather be safe than sorry. Something tore off one of the priest's arms. Thankfully, the doctor, William, surgically replaced it with a new one. I didn't even realize a procedure like that was possible. I also discovered that William is the father of the twins in the photo. I should go to his office to see if he can give me some useful information. Okay, weird sounds, but we got it, Chet. We got there. All right. Let us go see what we can find out in the office. Maria Wildberger's Diary. Uh, 21st of May, 1968. I am expecting. William is hopeful, but is more measured and demure than last time. He hired a maid to serve me, and she has not left my side. At first, I did not like the idea, but Anna and I have become good friends during these months together. She is almost my age and shares a love for art. On some afternoons, we talk for hours about famous artists, poetry, paintings, and sculptures. I feel a little guilty. I could never talk about such things with William. Of course, I never cared too much about the only subject uh, that he loves to discuss. Medicine. He's one of those people, huh? Likes to talk about medicine. Alright, I don't think we missed anything else. So, let's move right along. knocked down real quick, so... Oh, shit. He doesn't knock down that easily, I guess. Wait, where am I? I am in, uh... Get out of here. Uh, in the password door. And we just come in here. Uh, after we did Martha. And then we go through this door. And that creature thing is here. Was it that easy? If I just disappear... Then he disappears. Oh, good thing I didn't waste a whole lot of ammo. Kind of wish I would have known that beforehand. Almost makes me want to save scum again. <laughs> Is he going to appear down here later, though? 
Or did literally did all I have to do is leave and come back and he would have been gone? Because we saved scum there. Or we tried to kill it. But I used like a good portion of my nail gun ammo and all of my shotgun ammo. Okay, so there's two doors over here. One door. No, two doors. Office and children. Oh, God. My sister just walked in to give me a birthday beer. And uh, she was trying to be sneaky, which is not the best thing to do when someone's playing a scary game. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. Well, I'm going to open my beer now, chat. Got me a nice smearing off ice apple. Pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I was focused on this, trying to figure out what was going on. Next thing I know, catch movement out of the side, and there she is getting ready to eat me like a zombie. Let's go into the children's room, chat. <laughs> A young child's diary. 15th of November, 1980. We fled the mansion, making as little noise as possible. We went to the port down the hill. Mother was agitated. She was having trouble breathing, and huge blisters were appearing on her skin. We were halfway over the old wooden bridge, 65 feet above the river, when men wearing those awful suits appeared from behind the trees on each side. Mother held my sister and me between her arms as we inched closer to the railings. The men approached us slowly as the bridge started to moan and crack. Mother pushed us closer and closer to the barrier. One of the planks broke and my sister screamed and fell over. I caught her by the arm, but she wasn't strong enough to hold her for too long. She fell. I couldn't do anything to stop it. Mother didn't have any time to reach, react, or, yeah, react and lost her footing too. The men grabbed us and took us to grandfather, Noah. Mother looked worse with each passing second grandfather had me thrown inside a lock cell. He told me that no one would hear me, no matter how much I screamed. He also said that since my sister had died, I was of no use because he needed both of us to open the vault's entrance. After he walked away, I was left alone, locked inside a cell with a single candle to provide light. I screamed and cried until I was exhausted. These may be the last words I will write. I am sure I will die here. Why did all this happen? I wish you were here, father. So, wonder why we're finding this diary after we found that one. I think it would have made more sense to do it the other way around. But it's an interesting story, that's for sure. Something could fit in this slot. Can this fit in this slot? Because that's all I got. <laughs> Looks like I need something considerably smaller. I take it the penthouse is the last place, so make sure you have everything you need. Really? Where is the penthouse? I don't think we're anywhere near the penthouse yet, because uh, we got the office. And I haven't seen anything with the penthouse yet. So we still got a little ways. Uh, these children's drawings are unsettling. I'm 
think they're actually quite good, except for the scarier one with the hammer. It is right there. That's the office, not the penthouse. See? Unless you're talking about the last place for this particular area. So we need something for this, but I don't know what. Ah, oh, it says we are in the penthouse. I don't know. Is this the end of the game then, and there's more? Or gonna be like a sequel? Okay, here's this. So... And then... Oh, this. Makes absolutely no sense, but I'm sure we'll find a puzzle or something that tells us otherwise. Let's go ahead and unlock this. Door unlocked. It's all over now. Doors locked. It's shut tight. We'll unshut it. More blood. Fireplace that was just recently ignited. Uh, loosens rusted parts, freezed sticky mechanisms. What did we see that, uh, was it this? Did we see anything that was rusted, chat? Eye socket is empty. We need a lot of crap, chat. I need to figure out what the rust of the, the WD-40 does. I see something sparkling over here. Let's go take a look at it. Nails, great. Gotta love it. What's this? Photo of a metallic door. Have I been there before? Oh yeah, we have been there. That's down in the first. So I need the WD-40 for it. Uh-oh. Is he dead? Body is still warm. He was probably alive just hours ago. What is going on here? Did he drink something poisoned? Too dark outside to see anything. Another diary or something. Uh, December or 17th of December 1994 I have injected Maria with the antidote at first her body began convulsing and she released a deafening shriek it lasted only a few seconds after which everything went black to silence as she collapsed into the bed it was her her skin her hair her eyes looking at me completely lucid when she moved her lips weakly to say something I stepped closer to listen what she said stopped my heart William, my father has taken the girls. I stepped away, perplexed. Her eyes slowly closed, and a pleased smile spread across her face. Did she wait all this time, trapped inside that thing, to tell me this? Her life has finally ended. Rest in peace, my love. The unspoken things I will do to you have no name, Noah. Once you tell me what you did to my girls, you will beg me to take your life. This is odd. I don't feel well at all. My heartbeat has accelerated. My mouth is dry. My eyes are cloudy. My throat is tight. These symptoms. Someone has poisoned my wine. Are you kidding me? 
Holy crap. Chat. 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 I know this means nothing to you. <laughs> but, hear me out. Up here, in the corner. This right here. Is any... Did anybody in chat know what that is? Anybody in chat? Well, I changed my battery. here again so what that is chip that is Suzanne I believe that's Suzanne I think that's the name it is the one of the uh, primitive shapes in uh, Blender 3D. So it's a, Blender 3D is a, it's like Maya and uh, some of the others that y you can make 3D shapes and 3D scenes. And, you know, obviously it has to do with game programming and, you know, other stuff. And that's one of the uh, basic shapes that you can create to test materials and test, uh, you know, how light's going to affect it and, and all that kind of stuff. That's pretty cool. <laughs> nice little Easter egg there. Pretty sure it's called a Suzanne. I know, I'm a nerd, it's okay. Okay, so I guess now we go down stairs. I still don't know what this does. But I guess we go downstairs uh, and try to open the stuck door. Because there's really nothing else we can do right now. That thing's following me around all the time now, huh? Um, but now where do I go? Where's the best way to get to where I need to be? I need to go... Not this way. So is he only following me in some cases, some rooms? He gonna randomly show up in different rooms? Is that what it is? We haven't been over here. Uh, since since we uh, did the basement section. Doesn't seem like anything's changed though. It was in here, right? Sorry, my phone went off and I was trying to figure out why. Okay, so then that should be in here. Right? I think. Now we have a we have an enemy. Oh, it's a big one too. Go 
ahead and oh no I don't want to examine I want to combine and then I want this oh he was a big one. oh lord he coming so was it this one that was stuck tight or that one that was stuck tight to force it somehow. Now we needed the hammer for something else. All right, chat, here we go. What's this, newborn room? Not creepy in the slightest. Almost seems they are grasping for the hang dolls. That that right there is creepy. Holy crap. I'm going to have nightmares. Skeleton of Siamese twins joined at the head. Yep, I knew he was coming. I heard something anyway. Achievement unlocked, serial killer. All right, chat. I eat my breakfast every morning. I was on the wrong page. Get it, serial killer. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Delivery room. I will take the shotgun shells. I love shotgun shells. Here you are. I see you. Uh oh. Uh-oh, chat. We are dying, chat. Uh, resources. Heal. No, let's do full heal. And I wanted to switch to something else. Feel like there's gonna be more? Why is everything in this game so creepy all of a sudden? It was fine before, but it's just gotten so much worse. It's just a mirror chat. <laughs> now we're in the actual delivery room. Which is where? A room that we could never get into. We couldn't even get... We could get into the newborn. We couldn't get into the delivery. A safe spot. I probably will take up the save file. Okay, I don't want to interact with that because I might actually go through it. I don't know if it's an unlock thing or not. All right, let's go ahead and save. 
It's telling us we should, so I think we should chat. Progress saved. Yeah, see, if I would have tried to unlock that before, it would have sent me through it. Would not have been a bad thing, but still. An oil painting of... An archangel branding, brandishing, branding, brandishing a weapon. Okay. I hear something. Archangel brandishing a weapon. Douglas. Upstairs. Okay, good thing I didn't try shooting. Uh... That's probably got to match that to what's in the clock in my pocket watch. But let's, uh, let's take care of some of the other stuff first. He is so close. Okay, and this is the day of our salvation finally came. Okay. And this is the door that we couldn't get through. I'd completely forgotten there was a locked door here. Why is the music so loud? I think that big fat ghosty thing is after me. I think that's what the loud music means. We wasn't done in here anyway, so... I ain't too much at a loss. Okay, let's uh, let's take a look at you. Open. Okay, so it is long hands at seven, right? So. And dual effect 1983 or 1783. Ah, that's what it says there, too. Oh, we got seconds specifically, too. Oh. I don't have seconds on this one. second should be. I don't know what that is. I wonder if we have files like date of birth or something. Date, birth, and time. Yeah. 
That was weird. Game is still kind of buggy, isn't it? So I don't know what time we got to put on the clock. That's another one of those that I don't know if we have everything we need. Maybe there was something... What did we pick up last? Uh, William's Diary? Eight. Oh, that didn't give me anything. Okay, well. At least we can get back here easily, I guess. Because I don't think we have what we need. Yet. I don't know if we have what we need yet. But I don't know where else to go. I guess we can go back. Oops, I don't want to do that. I guess we can go back into uh, Wild Burger's office. Yeah. So whenever that loud music is, is he uh, he appears randomly. Uh, Wild Burger's office was on the second floor. Let's go take a look at that real quick. See if we can't discern anything, we'll decide from there. I don't have to go through all the the other way. Just go through here. Because we still need an eyeball. We've been in the metallic door. Fireplace. Body was still alive. Whatever this is. It doesn't really tell me anything. Music means nope. Now we can go back and he should be gone. Hmm. I don't know, chat. I'm kind of at a loss right now. Unless there was something in here we missed. Maybe. I don't think there was much in here, though. I 
Nothing on the clock. We need whatever this is, but I don't have anything to put in there. Yet. Haven't found a way. We have so many things, Chet. Had to figure out a use for this. This mold. We gotta find an eye. We gotta find that mold piece or that whatever it is, the circle piece. That guy's not really that scary to deal with. Need to figure out whatever this is. Some sort of box that's shut tight. I imagine it probably opens if we put the eyeball in or something, maybe. We probably have whatever it is we need to figure out the clock. but I have no clue what it is. So how about we do this, chat? And we'll go ahead and save again. That's well, not the save room. I want the save room, chat. Don't hide it from me. I'll find it. Save here again, real quick. I don't remember the last time we actually saved. Actually, we just saved. We literally just saved. And then we wouldn't have taken a hit. We'll have to redo a little bit. No, we didn't just save. Never mind, we'll go ahead and save now. Ignore me, chat. I mean, we still haven't done much, but I'd rather just do this chat. Don't argue with me. I do plenty of... 